Rob Kyle Richards erases Mauricio Umansky in symbolic way. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Kyle Richards seems determined to erase Mauricio Umansky from her life, and she has new jewelry without his initials on it. The news came on Mother's Day shortly after Bravo fans found out that he'd moved into a new condo in West Hollywood. Rob Kyle Richards and Talks of Divorce There's been a lot of talk about the estranged couple getting divorced. However, in the report about the new condo, it seems that their financial assets are so convoluted that they might not bother with it for now. However there's so much talk about the Rob couple that sources sometimes contradict each other. Kyle Richards heard stories that Mario Manxi cheats on her, and that would make any woman feel insecure. It all seems a terrible pity. After all, she and her ex raised nice kids together. Money, businesses, investments, property, and popularity all seemed to be at their fingertips. But it wasn't enough to safeguard their devotion to each other. And now, it seems that all hope is gone. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star erases Mauricio Umansky. On Mother's Day, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star took to her Instagram stories and shared a photo of a necklace. She didn't say who gave it to her, but probably one of her daughters did. She tagged at PsyGWRDJEWLRY as she displayed the golden necklace that said, KRE. Of course, that might mean that she bought it for herself. In the olden days, she would sometimes wear jewelry with a youth in it, which is obviously because her husband's surname is Umansky. According to page 6, KRE stands for Kyle Egan Richards. Kyle changed her Instagram name. Bravo fans noticed that recently, the Rob star dropped the name Umansky from her Instagram profile page. On Reddit, an OP wrote, Fans of Mauricio Umansky and his estranged wife agreed that they thought she changed it the same day she dropped the U from her jewelry. Here is a small selection of comments. It was definitely changed today, yes. She also posted her Mother's Day necklace today, which has her KER initials, so seems she's reverting to that elsewhere too. Mao had changed his bio, removing the married to Kyle Richards 18, a week or two ago as well, IIRC. I swear I spotted in the newest season she was carrying luggage or a bag that was KR and not KRU, like before. Any long-term relationship ending really is sad pensive face certainly am curious as to why things went down like they did though. The sun had just dipped below the Pacific horizon, casting the Malibu sky in hues of lavender and gold, when Kyle Richards stood in her sprawling backyard. A faint ocean breeze teased the hem of her flowing white caftan, an outfit chosen deliberately to exude peace and purity. Tonight was about transformation, she had told herself. Closure. But deep inside, a storm brewed, a mix of anger, hurt, and longing she hadn't yet learned how to silence. The cameras were rolling, of course. This was The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and every tear, every flicker of emotion, was fair game for Bravo's loyal audience. Kyle had learned to live under the scrutiny of millions. But this moment, as staged as it might seem to her critics, felt personal. Symbolic. A quiet rebellion against the life she was leaving behind. In the center of the yard stood a towering ice sculpture, an immaculate recreation of Kyle and Mauricio on their wedding day. It had been Mauricio's idea years ago, to immortalize their love in such an ostentatious way. The ice had been kept in storage, reappearing for their vow renewals, anniversaries, and those lavish dinner parties where the Umanskis had flaunted their seemingly unshakable tonight, bond. That same sculpture had been recarved with precision. Kyle's figure was unchanged, her radiant smile, her hand outstretched, but Mauricio's likeness had been removed entirely. In its place was an empty void, his absence speaking louder than any words could. Are you sure about this? Dorit Kemsley asked, clutching a flute of champagne. Dressed in head-to-toe balma, she was every inch the fashionista, though her expression betrayed genuine concern. 
Kyle turned to her friend, her lips curling into a wry smile. It's not about erasing him completely, she said, her voice steady. It's about reclaiming space for myself. For the Kyle who doesn't live in his shadow. The ladies gathered, intrigued but wary. Erica Girardi, ever the provocateur, leaned closer, her red lips curling into a smirk. So, what's the plan? Are we smashing it? Setting it on fire? You know I love a little drama. Neither, Kyle said, shaking her head. She stepped forward, lifting a silver mallet from a velvet-draped pedestal. This is about doing things on my own terms. The first strike wasn't dramatic. It was measured, deliberate, a symbolic blow that sent a crack spiraling down the sculpture's left side. The group gasped as the sound echoed through the quiet evening. Kyle, are you sure this isn't too, final? Lisa Rinna asked, her hands gesturing wildly as she edged closer. She'd never been one to mince words, but even she seemed taken aback by the spectacle. Kyle paused, resting the mallet against the ice. It is final, Lisa. That's the point. Mauricio and I built a beautiful life together, but somewhere along the way, I forgot how to just be me. This is me finding that again. The camera zoomed in, capturing every nuance of her expression. Kyle's eyes glistened with unshed tears, but there was no hesitation in her movements. She swung again, harder this time, sending shards of ice flying. With each strike, the sculpture's void seemed to grow, Mauricio's absence becoming more pronounced, more undeniable. The women watched in a mix of awe and unease. Sudden Strake whispered to Garcelle Beauvais, I can't decide if this is empowering or just plain dramatic. Garcelle shrugged, sipping her wine. Why can't it be both? This is Kyle we're talking about. By the time the sculpture was reduced to jagged fragments, Kyle was breathless but resolute. She dropped the mallet, her chest rising and falling as she surveyed the wreckage. There, in the shimmering pile of ice, was the symbolic weight of a marriage that had both defined and confined her. I'm proud of you, Dorit said softly, placing a hand on Kyle's shoulder. This isn't easy, but you're doing what's right for you. Kyle nodded, her gaze distant. It's not just about me, though. It's about showing my daughters that they don't have to stay in situations where they feel invisible. It's about breaking the cycle. Later that evening, as the women lounged by the fire pit, the mood shifted to one of camaraderie. They toasted to new beginnings, their laughter mingling with the crackle of the flames. Kyle, for the first time in months, felt a sense of lightness.